Okay, so again on these, uh, does that help? Are you getting the right numbers now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So on these, you know, on these kind of questions, there's not a lot of work to show here. You're going to have these on a test. You're just going to have to, like, it's okay. You're just going to write the number down. So it's kind of an all or nothing thing. Make sure you've got the right co-function and so forth when you're doing these. So that's, again, you're going to need to know this stuff. There's a lot of formulas here, folks. There's a lot of stuff to memorize. Um, try to memorize as much of it as you can because you don't want to have this really huge formula sheet where you've got a thousand formulas. All right. Let's do degrees and minutes now. Same process. It's just you're going to take a little bit longer because you're going to have to enter degrees and minutes instead of the decimal. So I'm on a cosine function. That's the middle one. Cosine. And again, I'm going to do 24, but I have to go into that DMS menu and enter degrees and 30 seconds. Now that's just 24.5. I could have done this as 20, just converted this to 24.5, but just to demonstrate, I will go and put my minutes in. And then you close these functions off by closing parentheses. I should have mentioned that too. You're going to hit this close parentheses right here, and now your function is complete, and you can hit enter. That allows you to do stuff like multiply it or subtract it. I'm going to do a whole bunch of those. And now we've got an interesting rounding problem. We've got 0 0.90996127. We don't care about those. Those don't even matter. What matters is that this is the fourth digit. We're rounding the fourth digit. The number next to it is a 6, so that's going to round up. 9 rounds up to 10, so you have to carry that 1. Add that to the 9, that adds and makes another 10 and carry the 1. So this is actually going to end up being 0 0.9100. And again, for web assign, you're going to want to put in that those extra zeros so you have exactly four decimal places. And then now we're down to the cosecant. Again, we don't have a cosecant button on here, but we observe that our little identity map here, cosecant is one of the times. So like I said, you're going to use this, this little part here a lot. Anytime you're using a calculator to find one of these functions, you have to do the inverse of that. So one over sign. One divided by sine. And now we've got to put the 48 degrees, 48 minutes, so 48 math degrees, 48 math DMS minutes, close parenthesis, enter, 1.329, and this one's going to round up to a 1. So 1.3 two, nine, one. It doesn't affect the nine at all. Just the, the zero goes to one because it's got a five next to it.